We'll be answering a very, very weird question. Who is the least iconic Smash Bros. character? Well, we want to know who the most iconic is. Out of the bat. We all know who it is. It's Mario. Everybody knows who Mario is. And we'll be eliminating the characters that are very, very iconic. So Mario will be eliminated. Everybody knows who Mario is. Okay. We'll be also eliminating Kirby because because he's a very iconic character. Same thing with Yoshi. Everybody knows who Yoshi is. Pikachu. Luigi. Okay. The obvious characters. We're also removing Donkey Kong, Link, and Samus as well. All three characters are very, very iconic in the West perspective. Let's read five characters in this row. Uh, let's read on five characters in this row and we gain back to them later. In the second row, Pete and Daisy. Well, Pete is, you know, a mainstay in the Mario series. Bowser, of course, is one of the most iconic villains of all time. Time. Up there are characters like Darth Vader and other really iconic villains. Zelda, of course, is what the entire Zelda series is named after. So she will be eliminated off of this bat as well. Also, Young Link, considering he's still Link. People know who Link is as well. It's just Link when he's a kid. And the rest of these characters, Pikachu will also be related because he is the pre-evolution of Pikachu. And everybody knows who Pikachu is. So, yeah. Mewtwo, being one of the most iconic legendary Pokemon, will also be eliminated off of this as well. Also, I think we should be eliminated Daisy as well because I mean that Daisy is from Mario. And I don't think any Mario character is an iconic either. My name being one of the most popular characters from the Kirby series as well will be eliminated as well. Mr. Gamer Watts, considering how well the Gamer Watts game surprise we have sold, and also because he has become an icon of Smash Bros. himself, we'll get to him later. Wario and Zero Two Samus will be removed. Zero Two Samus and Samus without her suit on. Everybody knows who. A lot of people know who Samus is in Wario. He is an icon of the, of the Mario series. Snake will be removed as well, considering how popular the Metal Gear series is. Pokemon Trail will be removed because you already passed Pokemon Trail in every Pokemon game. And Diddy Kong will be removed because of how iconic he is. And he's often associated with Donkey Kong as well. Now we're going over this row. Sonic will obviously be removed because everybody knows who Sonic is. Say they King Diddy. If you're a Kirby fan, you know who King Dedede is. He's basically a mainstay in the Kirby series as well. Wakario well, is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time, so he'll be removed as well. Toon Wink is still Wink, so he'll be removed as well. Okay. Villager, he is the main character in every Animal Crossing game, so he'll be removed as well. Rosarena is a mainstay in the Mario series, so she'll be removed after this as well. She is definitely not among the least iconic characters. Next is Greninza. Greninza is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time, so Greninza will be removed. Pac-Man is one of the most recognizable video game characters of all time. Everybody knows who Pac-Man is. Bowser Jr. will be removed, and Duck Hunt Duo will also be removed. Duck Hunt was one of the best-selling games of the NES, and it feels unfair to have Duck Hunt. Ryu and Ken are two of the most iconic and crowd are some of the most iconic characters from the respective series as well. So yeah, next is Inkling. Of course, Splatoon is a massively popular series as well. So, as well. And yeah, considering the fact that Final Fantasy is also getting yet another remake as well, the Big Brother remake, I decided to remove Crown as well. He's also the most iconic character from Final Fantasy. Ryu and Ken are basically the most iconic characters in fighting game history. Next character to be removed is Isabel. Everybody knows who Isabel is if you played Animal Crossing. Buona Pratt, he has been basically sent in every Mario game. Essentially, since the very beginning. Instead of work, considering the fact that he is a starter and a lot of people love starter Pokemon, he will be removed as well. Considering how massively popular Persona 5 is, I can remove Joker from this list because I don't think Joker is one of the least iconic characters in Smash Bros. as well. Then we have these five characters. We're moving Arms because Arms is a more recent game and Arms hasn't really left people's memories just yet. Steve, well, Steve is an obvious pick to remove because of how popular Minecraft is. Kazuya, well, if you're a Tekken fan, well, Tekken is a very popular fighting game series. So it will be removed because everybody, a lot of people know who he is from Kingdom Hearts. And the bees are removed because of the Wii. And the Wii has not faded people's memories anytime soon. He will also be removed because of how popular Dragon Quest is in Japan. So these are the remaining characters. Oh yeah, we're going to remove Sephiroth too because Sephiroth is the most iconic Final Fantasy villain. So there we go. These are the remaining characters on this list. 
as well. We we oh yeah, also we talked about it because he has the Mario. So yeah, see he's in the same world like with Wink as well. So these are the remaining characters, and also we're moving random as well. So we go to characters that are definitely not the least iconic, but are not as iconic as others. First character off this list is Fox and Falco. Star Fox is still a relatively popular series, even if Nintendo keeps trying to screw it over. Marth is the face of Fire Emblem, and Lucina is one of the more popular Fire Emblem characters out there. Captain Falcon is the face of Smash Bros. at this point, and Zigglypuff is still one of the more popular Pokemon out there. Now, Little Mac is a very beloved character from Punch Out, and it did sell decently well back in the day, but is a dead IP. Mr. Gaylord Watts is an iconic character as well, considering that he represents a lot of Nintendo's history as well, and also Gaylord Watts was a decently selling thing back in the day. Roy and Krob will be going over the Krob basically introduced people back to Fire Emblem, and with Lucina, he will be removed as well. Well, next is Refit Trail, well people know what we, the V is, and Mega Man is... A lot of people do know who Mega Man is, so he'll be removed. Same thing with Bazo Kazooie and Terry. Terry is decently popular in Latin America, and Barth is from the newest Fire Emblem game, and Barry Lander series is decently popular as well. Well, it reads these characters. Pikmin is still a decently popular series, and our has been in every Pikmin game since the first game as well. Zero Play 2 is decently popular as well, and Kiki Wool was an iconic villain back in the day. They, it's a definitely be come back. Same thing with Ridley. Ridley will be removed. And Castlevania is also decently popular as well. Which will move Simon and Director as well. Which means these characters remaining. These are the rest of the characters remaining. Dean. C computer in Ocarina of Time. And, you know, is a kind of a more obscure character. But C has basically become a staple in the Smash Bros. series at this point. As well. Now we get into the nitty gritty characters. Gandalf, of course, will be removed. I forgot to remove Gandalf, so yeah. Wolf will also be removed as well for the same reasons as Gandalf. Robin will be removed before being in Fire Emblem Awakening and Salt basically one of the more iconic characters of the Zero Blade IP. Now we have the rest of these characters remaining. These characters are lesser known characters of Nintendo. Considering how, considering that Martha, the first of the Fire Emblem characters will be removed, considering the fact that they're so iconic they are put into as like this one, the one fire ever game with all the characters returned. But with Prime did get re, did resurface, so Dark Souls will be removed. Now we just have the Earthbound characters remain, Ice Climbers, Pit and Dark Pit and Rob. This will be a very, very grueling process of, uh, of elimination as well. Rob is, you know, a toy that, that, that came with Nintendo consoles. He, ha- he was in Mario Kart DS, so he'll be removed because of that fact alone. Now we're back to Ice Climbers, Pit, Dark Pit, Ness, and Lucas, and Power Tater. Kid Lucas Uprising sold around a million copies. It does have a cult following, which will remove all three Kid Icarus characters from this list as well, which leaves the three characters remaining Ness, Lucas, and the Ice Climbers. Remove the Fire Emblem characters, yes, they are. The, they were in poor selling games, but Fire Emblem gained much popularity since 2014. Earthbound and Ice Climber have not been, made such comeback. There was between Ice Climber and other Nintendo characters that are from the retro era, and that Punch Out and Dark Hunt were very popular games back in the day. Ice Climber was not. As well. The difference between Ice Climber and, and Ness and Lucas is that many people don't really. Ness, considering the fact that he was there since the very first game, will be removed. Now is at the battle between Ice Climbers and Lucas. Who is the least iconic Smash Bros. character? The, and this is a very, very tough one. one. Lucas, his game only appeared in a game outside of Japan. I mean, it's Ice Climber, but Ice Climber is a very old game as well. But Ice Climbers has been in the game since Melee. So it will be eliminated Ice Climbers. Which makes Lucas the least iconic character in Super Smash Bros. Simply due to his game not even being available outside of Japan. Yes, Mother 3 is a beloved game by its cult following, but not many people had the privilege to play Mother 3 outside of an emulator. Most people don't even know who Lucas is until he appeared in the game. The same thing can be said about a character like Ike, but Ike became a, a really beloved character among the Fire Emblem fanbase. 
a period of fight of heroes which is one of the title's most successful mobile games, and also a period of fight of brigades as a character, as an important character in that game. So, all the fight of characters are more iconic than Lucas. Yes. And Fire Emblem at least had made a name for itself among Nintendo's more important IPs. But Lucas is an irrelevant character to, that most people don't even know because, and I'm saying Lucas irrelevant because Murder Free has not gotten an official Ingress release. And most people don't even know who Lucas is outside of the Earthbound Transmodal fan minimum and people who played Super Smash Bros. So, you can say it's about Captain Falcon. And also the only reason I decided to eliminate Captain Falcon is because he's basically seen as the face of Super Smash Bros. W- Lucas has no such thing, and that makes Lucas the least iconic character in Smash Bros. as well.